Have you heard about the coronavirus? Everywhere you turn, people are talking about it. There's a lot of panic. In some ways, I, I think the viral fear about it may be worse than the virus itself. And I think we need to think about it for a moment and we need to pray about it. And I, I think of three P's that I'll use three words that start with the word P. Number one, we need to be practical. I've talked to a lot of doctors about this and they all pretty much say the same thing. Wash your hands a lot. Uh, use soap. Take your time. Uh, don't touch your face with your hands, your fingers, etc. They actually say wearing a mask is not helpful unless you're actually sick. So that's the practical. We want to take care of the practical. But then there's the prayerful. We need to be praying about this. We need to pray for our church. We need to pray for our nation that God would protect us. And the Lord can do that. He can put a shield around us. And we want to pray for anybody that has it. Uh, that they would be healed and come through it quickly. And then the third P is proclamation. You know, I think we should use it as an opportunity to talk to people about Jesus Christ because a lot of people are freaking out. And here's the thing. The Bible tells us don't worry about it. Pray about it. Don't worry about anything. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God that passes all human understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Listen, God is bigger than the coronavirus. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Remember when the disciples were on their storm-tossed boat in the Sea of Galilee and, and they began to panic. They were terrified. It comes from the Greek word freak out to. No, it doesn't. There's no Greek word freak out to, but, uh, but they were freaking out. And who shows up but Jesus walking on the water? And what does he say? Be of good courage and don't be afraid. The key is you've got to keep your eyes on the Lord and looking to him and following him because he's the one that protects us and sustains us. Here's what I believe. A Christian is indestructible until God is done with them. So I don't walk around living in fear. I walk around living in faith. So but here's the thing. When, you know, when we think, oh, danger's coming, what do we do? Well, we have the peace that passes all human understanding. Oh, so we don't walk around living in fear. God has not given us this spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That's what the Bible says. So we use it as an opportunity for proclamation. So I think we all should just pray right now for our nation and pray that God will put a shield of protection around us. Let's pray. Father, we pray for America with this coronavirus uh, that has the potential to spread. And Lord, you're bigger than this virus. And we're praying that these numbers will start going down, not up. We're praying that anyone that has it would be healed. And we're praying that, Lord, we would not live in fear, but rather we would live in faith. Give wisdom to Vice President uh, Pence and his team as they deal with this. Help them to know what to do, when to do it, the steps to take, the practical. But Lord, we don't rely only on that. We are prayerful, looking to you, knowing that you are God and that you love us. So hear our prayer, Lord. Answer our prayer. We pray this together in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey everybody, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating it with new content and never seen before content. So if you want to get the latest from Harvest, hit the subscribe button.